Good morning. Welcome to another exciting episode of DDO Wiki Talk with your host, Technical Underscore 13, aka Shoemaker. How is everybody today? Well, it looks like my chat's not loading up. Let me try to refresh that. And send a test message. There we go. Hmm. Whatever. Apparently it doesn't show icons in this version of the chat viewer. Which is the Twitch IRC chat viewer. Ah, I need to update that to the um, HTML5 one sometime. Anyways, good morning. Welcome to DDO Wiki Talk. As you saw from one of my splash screens, I intend on doing a 32 hour live stream later this week. Push that real quick. That way that'll update. How was everybody today? We have our code giveaway going on this morning. Let me get into um, Discord chat. So you're welcome to join me in Discord. We're gonna do a 500 DDO point giveaway. It's gonna be my last 500 DDO points. Um, I'm gonna set the needed attendees to 20 today. So if you're in chat, say good morning and I will add you to the giveaway list. Add you to the drawing. Oh, there's my mod sword. <laughs> oh, weird. We're gonna click on save here. This is gonna be episode number 65. I actually did some work to this program the other day and submitted it to my instructor because it was intended to be a, v a VB.net final project and um, it was about a year overdue because of some circumstances. I finally submitted it the other day, last week. Gave me a B for it. I can live with that being a year late. There's actually another button down here. It's uh, an attendee editor so I can add and remove people to the dynamic dropdown. I got to go through all of the episodes 20 through 65 and add everybody that hasn't already been added. And I guess some more work I want to do where it'll automatically add if they're not in the list, but that's up the road. Quiet chat this morning. Anyway, so this morning, let's um, take a quick look through our recent changes to see what's happened in the last week. Which will get us to our project of the week, which may take more than a week to complete. All right, so if I scroll down to the bottom here, um, spot and search uh, DDO information project's been being worked on. Quest by level and XP was worked on. Um, DDO Players Council 2017 was sat last week, initiated, or the week before, and um, did a lot of work over the course of the last week getting all of that information on the wiki. Should actually bring that up. I'd like to show what I've done there. Added some icons. I want to favorite these. Put them on my watch list. I don't know why they're not already on my watch list, but.
add these to my watch list real quick. Tab, 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 tab. If those change, I want to know about it. All right, what do we have? Good morning, wiki work indeed. It's been a very busy wiki, wiki work week. All right, let's add you guys to the giveaway here. K R U N I C I A. Darius sixteen eighty. First two people added to the drawing. All right. Added some user PC 2017 for people that are on the 2017 Players Council. Did a lot of organization work for the icons over the last week. Lots and lots and lots of icon work. And, and most of it was actually done via bot, so we don't even see those edits. Apparently I'm up to almost 32,000 undeleted page edits. Uh, let's see here. Some cleanup work, template, calculated XP bonus, fix for usual uses of casual, some monster page stuff, CR cleanup on a lot of monster pages, um, merge date was updated a little bit. Uh, what did I do there? Add code for if it was closed. Um, I did quite a bit of work to template quests, which is something that we're going to work on today. A lot of monster stuff. Um, these little Red exclamations that says it has not been patrolled. There is unfortunately nothing I can do about those. Um, if you use the special duplicator to duplicate a page, for example, I took Jacob B. Drexelhan, which had the NPC, the, the white and the human all on one page, and I split out the white and the human into its own page. Um, because I use duplicator, um, there's no way I can patrol those. I've tried everything I could think of short of actually going in and fixing the um, the PHP for the extension itself and even then it wouldn't fix these old ones so not a big deal um, a lot of monster related stuff I created a new template for for this see that type template Uh, template developer got updated to add um, major malfunction. Forum user got a tweak to get rid of the inactive bit as it's no longer used for um, players council members. Uh, template refs was created for when there's more than one reference to a thing. Gives it a, a better formatting. Crew 121's been working on some templates, like Deadly. And I think the rest is all monster slash um, quest page related. For the most part. Oh, I did that on this account. Oops, whatever. 
All right, so those are our recent changes in the last week. Let's take a look at our Players Council page. Um, nothing really changed here. It's all in this table. So the, the, the initial 2017 Players Council is set. Um, I did a lot of work to the template for how this is displayed. Um, uh, what was that message? Oh, well, happy birthday, Nux. Formerly known as the Blue Queen. Spara. Sapara. Yeah, add some birthday emo emojis there to her comment of it being her birthday. Oh, so we got forum pages, user, um, if they're a user on the wiki, user page, talk page con contributions, um, link to their YouTube if they provided it, um, email if it's if it if they have that information available on wiki, Facebook, Twitch, and Twitter. Um, 2016 members use the same template. 2015, you can see that we also have um, so the the square Discord icon gives you their username and tag number if you want to PM them on Discord. The round one invites you to their server. Um, that's for GitHub, um, Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. I don't have my Facebook in there. I, don't, I only have a, a private one, personal one. My other one got hacked, so. And lots of good stuff in here. So for the 2017 Players Council, I created this new table of contents up here, which will take you to each year and the list of members directly. So if we were to go look at the members here, <clears throat> and edit the page, you can see that it's actually protected so that you must be an auto-confirmed user in order to, to use it. And it's just PC member, username on the forums, and the user forum ID. And then if they're on DDO Wiki or whatever, we can actually just look at the template for how that works. So if we go to template PC member, you've got PC member name, ID number, options equals values. Where name is the user's forum username, forum's user ID number, or the last part of the URL, example, 402.576 in 402.576 Cordovan. If this number is missing or you don't know, temporarily skip, and the link will be um, for a search for that user. So if you click on this link, it'll actually take you to search user Cordovan. Optional parameters, you can set a forum tab. By default, it's the About Me tab. Um, you can also have it show your activity stream for your own post, your friend's post. Um, uh, your list of friends, whatever whatever you want there. Um, we have DDO Wiki, Discord, Discord.me, Facebook, GitHub, Twitch, Twitter, WMF, um, which will take you to um, any Wiki, uh, Wikimedia Foundation. So Wikipedia, English Wikipedia, whatever. Um, and YouTube, and then inactive if the member resigned or res was removed. Examples, we got PC member DDO stream, it's just DDO stream, and then with all of the optional parameters that are available that I have, um, DDO stream, DDO wiki, Discord, Discord me, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube user, um, you could also go YouTube's YouTube channel, if it's um, channel instead of um, user, so YouTube page, user, or slash user pages, and channel for channel pages user channel. Um, if you're a PC member and you'd like to add some of your social media sites, uh, feel free to pop into the wiki here and add them or pop on a Discord and ask for assistance and I'd be happy to help you get that set up. Uh, 
quest pages. Needing an update. Okay, so let's do this first. Template quest. So I did a massive update to this template over the last week. Um, it now has, I've replaced the OBJ equals for objectives to be objective underscore number. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 6,428. Um, we also can do optional underscore optional number and then opt percent number. The opt percent number, so optional percent one goes to optional one. And I'll show you how those are used in a little bit. Um, and then I also added, I removed the monsters. Monsters are no longer offered down here, but instead we have an option for external links. And for all of the bonuses, they are now listed um, verbosely as Insidious, Devious, Discreet, Aggression, Onslaught, etc. right down through directly in the quest template itself instead of having to use a sub template and, fig and, and trying to remember what T1, T2, T3, K1, K2, K3, etc. was. I just... Whatever the name of the bonus was, is what it's going to be in the template. Um, I actually added some description down here. Objective 1 through objective whatever is list of in-quest objectives. Optional 1 through optional whatever is optionals. Optional percent 1 through optional percent whatever is percentage of base XP granted for completing the corresponding optional whatever. Um, insidious Cunning bonus is Insidious, Devious, Discreet, Aggression, Onslaught, Conquest, Tamper, Neutralization, Ingenious for Ingenious Debilitation, Observance, Perception, Vigilant for Vigilant Sight. I just use the first word, whatever it is for bonus, just the first word. Uh, bonus XP notes is if there's specific notes. Um, conquest can only be completed by farming the bats in Coal Chamber before killing the... Um, gelatinous cube, um, make sure that you have it before the cube is dead, that type of thing. Um, and external is where to add your external links. So, without further, further ado, let me show you how to use this. Um, we actually created this category, category quest pages needing an update. So let's open up a break in the ice. And we'll go through this one to show you how it works. See, all of the quest pages that haven't already been updated actually have this big red warning. The information on this page might be inaccurate due to game update. Reason needs to have parameters updated due to changes in template quest. You go through and you see all kinds of stuff in here. You see how the optionals are listed. Um, they have XP bonuses of 5%. How they're set up. Bonus XP set up like this. Um, name rewards. Monsters. One of the big things of this update um, is the fact that monsters are now in a table, which is collapsed by default. Let um, me click on expand and all the monsters will show up. This is also an excellent opportunity to be able to add information on monsters. Um, and see what an o overview of the monsters in there is. So you can see the, the names. Um, they are sorted by default by color and then alphabetically. So red monsters, uh, purple, red, orange, and then yellow slash normal monsters. Um, if you uh, mouse over where it says view, you can see it says name picture. So you view it and it will show you red name monster, Runiger. You can see what the picture looks like. You can click on it to update the picture if you have a better picture of him. Um, this particular one doesn't have any that don't have a picture yet, but otherwise it'll say no pick in red, and it'll show no picture when you mouse over it and click to a place where you can upload it. Um, you can see what the CR of the monster is. I'm thinking about still doing some work to that, because some of these CRs are, are, are incorrect based on the quest level. I just have to figure out how the CR system works a little bit better um instead of doing um heroic and epic broken up like this i might do it by level if i can figure out how to do that so 
this is a level 19 quest. It'll show that level 19 CR, and then it's level 27 on Epic, so on another row, or slash Epic um, level stuff. Broken up a little bit better. Um, if there's no CRs on the page for the monster, you'll see it says CR missing. If you click on that link, it will actually take you to the edit form for whatever the monster is. So for this one, it will take me to Air Elemental. So I click on that, and it will load up um, Air Elemental in edit form. And I can scroll down, and I can edit it and add the CRs. Actually, I'm going to make a minor adjustment to that so it takes you directly to the edit box instead of the top of the page. Um, what else do we have? You can sort by CR. These are the ones that are missing. You can sort by type, elemental, giant, null, humanoid, magic, bane, whatever. And you can sort by race, air, elemental, giant, right down through wolf. A column for DR types would be nice. It would. The problem is that 90% of the monsters listed on the wiki don't have DR information in a way that can be presented. Um, for example, Air Elemental has a DR 11 up uh, in the Stormhorns. It has a DR of 10 in the King's Forest Swamp area. So it's kind of hard to figure out... See, most of them just say DR variable because it depends on um, dungeon scaling. It depends on um, quest level. It depends on um, old variable list of things um i don't know how i would do that um what i am thinking that i would like to do is i'm wondering if it's really worth having type and race in here and instead of having type and race just offer monster manual type because people really only care about you know Will this count towards my monster manual kills or not? Um, otherwise, they really don't care about the type and race too much, I don't think. Um, I could add monster manual as an additional column. Um, the other thing that I want to add, but I haven't figured out how to do yet, is... On the monster pages, for each habitat, we have the um, habitat... Whatever the habitat is, the notes. So for the ruin, Ruins of Thunderhome, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, habitat number 8, we have a H note 8 of third floor. Um, I need to, f I want to figure out how to get that note into this template someplace. I don't know where yet, but someplace. Um, And then there was one other thing that I wanted to add, but I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. But if you have any suggestions, please feel free to jump into Discord or to get a hold of me some way. And I would be happy to figure out a way to add or modify or whatever. So let's actually edit this page. What I've been doing is I've been opening up the talk page and creating a new section. And then editing editing the quest template. Scroll down to edit box. First thing I do is I scroll to the bottom and I grab the entire monster section and I hit control X to cut it from the page. I go over the talk page and I do control V and show preview. And then I let that sit there. And I go back over here, and you can see that these are all um, listed as whatever they are number now. Then I scroll back up to the top, and I get rid of this update template. I make sure that add pack is properly set, if it wasn't already. Um, that's an empty column, that's empty, it can go away, 
That's empty, it can go away. These are all empty, they can go away. Overview, objectives. Okay, so we got our objectives here. Let's stretch this out a little bit. Um, space, space, space. Objective one. Copy. Objective two, objective three, objective four, objective five, objective six, objective seven. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. So now we have all of our objectives listed there. Um, copy this. Optional. Underscore one. Equals. Enter. Opt percent one fifteen. Make sure that I delete those. Copy this. Delete those. Those are a big thing. Number two, number three. Underscore, underscore, grab the O's, optional, optional. Paste, paste, enter, enter. Okay, so now they're all broken out. Optional one through seven, or objective one through seven. Optional one, amount of percent, uh, percent of XP you get for that. Optional two, percent of XP. Optional three, percent of XP. Personally, I have a pet peeve about spacing. I like everything to be spaced out evenly. I guess isn't too big of a deal. I'm actually gonna, once I get this all sorted out, I'm actually gonna make a gadget so that you won't have to edit the source code. You'll be able to just click on the thing and add edit things directly um, inside of a nice graphical UI type thing. But that's gonna be up the road a little bit. I still have some more standardization to do to the template itself. I want to work on the map pick section and things like that. Okay. So now we got this update to use new template quest parameters. We're going to do a show preview. You can see that all of the objectives are now listed. The optionals are listed with a light gray text for optional. Um, the XP's are all automatically populated. You don't have to enter in the XP every time. You just put in the percent once and it will automatically add it for heroic and epic. If it's a heroic and epic quest. Otherwise it'll just show heroic or epic. Um, all of this is still there. All of this you just enter in the, uh, the, the number of kills or secret doors or breakables or whatever. And it will automatically do the rest. Um, there's no external links to this one, so we didn't get to see that yet. Um, got some skill DCs that should actually go up in the trap section. Let's head up to the traps. Or in the misc section, okay. Alright, let's save it. Good morning, Elpair. Hmm. 
Apparently we're missing some named items. Expand our template here. Get all of that. So now what we need to do is we need to go through and make sure, because I found that a lot of them actually aren't, make sure that all of these monsters have a habitat of a break in the ice on the monster page itself. So I've been going through and opening each of the monster pages. Once all the monster pages are open, you can actually close the talk page without saving it. Watcher of the Glacier, break in the ice, good. A 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 break in the ice, good. Break in the ice, common enemy. Really don't need that there. I'm going to edit it. Scroll down, get rid of the common enemy H note. I'm going to call that a cleanup. Save page. Orc Berserker. Break in the ice, we got that again. We also have CR in the wrong place, so we need to move that. So CR, we're going to take the CR numbers here. Put them up in CR. We can get rid of that H note and the common enemy H note. CR CE. Race racial is chaotic evil. So if somebody can confirm that Orc Berserker is chaotic evil, that would be great. Now we have a CR. It's all cleaned up. Edit this one and clean it up. At normal, we can actually add in hard, elite, e hard, e elite as empties. As long as there's at least one number in the template, it won't cause an issue. If I was to put it in with no numbers, it would cause an issue inside of the um, the table. So we don't want to do that. So C R C E. Save page. That's looking better. Breaking the ice, that one looks good. Breaking the ice, that one looks good. Common enemy we can get rid of. Got some cleanup to do here. Got it. Hard. E hard. E elite. Now we can take this and move it up to CR for now. Delete that. No new information there. Delete that. It's only in the first wave. That's good information, but we can delete this. Show preview. We've made some changes. Good. Save. You can edit this one. We have a CR number of something. Move that up to the CR section. Delete the extra text. Then air elemental. We got some stuff to do here. Yep, we got a little bit of stuff we can do there. What was that one? Scroll down. CR. CR21, we already have that. So we have a, that's a DR, okay. So that's a common enemy, we can get rid of that one. Get 
it up a little bit. There we go. Alrighty. Now that we've gone through all of the monsters that were previously listed in the monster section and made sure that they're still listed, you see we have a lot of CRs missing. So we're going to click on this and refresh the link now that we've gone through and made sure that they're all in the, in the right place and all of the CRs are updated. And we're going to go down and we're going to check our table again. Now there's only two with CRs missing. So we've gone through and we've updated them and we're looking pretty good there. So this one is done. The next quest, a Cabal for one. Let's do this one. We're going to do a few of these because it's something that's high on my priority list. I'd love it if people would... Oh, El Pierre's already listed. Excellent. Save. Save. Number three out of a 20, giving away my last 500 DP code that I currently have. I'll have to get some more from Cordovan when he returns from his vacation next week. So we head over to a call ball for one. We're gonna open the discussion page, which was never created before. It's got a red link. We're gonna edit the template page. Scroll down to edit box. And delete this. My personal thing, I like to go through and Space these all out. Once I get the other thing working, it will automatically do that, but whatever. Objective one is to explore Hobgoblin Encampment. Objective two. Objective 3, Objective 4, Objective 5. 2, 3, 4, 5. Optional number 1. Slay Olos. Optional percent, number one, going to be 15. We can actually link those. I like blinking, blinking those. Now, the template doesn't care what order the objectives and the optionals are listed inside of the template, it will always list objectives before optionals when you render the display. So feel free to put them in like that if that's the way that they appear in Quest, if that's what makes you happy. Um, just know that when you hit Save Page or Show Preview, it will always show the objectives before the optionals. That's working as intended. These are the things you have to do. These are the things you can do if you want to. Then I scroll down. You can see that all of this is already spaced out nicely. I like that. I've noticed that some people have been adding bonus numbers. That's good. I like that. Take our monster section, we can chop that right out. Put it on the talk page, show preview, because we're going to go through all of the monsters and make sure that they're still listed in the quest. Uh, was there no external links in this one? Apparently not. Update template quest, show preview. Excellent. Save the page. Open up all of the monster pages. Close the talk page without saving. We have a cabal for one. I could make an edit here. Um, 
Actually, I'm going to. I'm going to edit it. You can see that it's got this text at the top here. That's actually got its own template parameter. Saying one. However many sayings there are, it's saying. Grab this, slide it down to the saying. Delete this. Uh, check everything else while I'm here. Looks good. Copy edit for saying. Save page. You can see that it's now listed underneath where the picture will go when somebody finally uploads a picture of Vokur. Preferably one where he's an orange name. But any picture is better than no picture. We have a, a saying here to add. That C E saying can edit this one. It's ones like this that made me add that parameter where they only had the open in italics and not the closing because that actually breaks the formatting on the page. It forces the um, the Wikimedia parser to automatically figure out that it needs to be closed instead of manually closing it. It's always always bad to leave open tags and let Tidy figure it out. That I can close those two. We're done. Edit and actually I go through and I just edit uh, Cabal for one. CR is nothing there to do. I can close that one. That one has a saying we can edit. Cabal for one, CR, we're doing good on that one. Cabal for one, that one could actually be cleaned up. Got stuff in it that doesn't need to be there. Cabal for one, that one's done. That one's done based on the information we have. That one's there. And this one needs a little bit of a cleanup. Okay, so I actually opened them all for editing in one shot. Another open tag. Another unclosed tag, I should say. CE saying. Next one. Hey, at least this one they closed the, the, the tag. Next page. So we're done with this one. Save that. That one's done. That one's done. Scroll down. This CR XP color normal does nothing for us. We can get rid of that. CE. Save. Why did I open this one for editing? Oh, because we have an empty CRH note there. There we go. So that one's all saved. Now we head down here. We bring up the table. You can see everything that's listed there. Then we're going to refresh it. And updated. <coughs> oh, 
There we go, we got some no picks. So King Bendix doesn't have a picture. Shows us no pick with red letters. Which I guess is kind of hard to see. On the red background and the orange background. Maybe I'll add a background color to that of white. So that way you can always see the red. So this little section will be white with no pick. Um... Let me see if I can edit that now. I don't know if I can or not. That's going to be inside of the template. Where is it? Where is that template? I know I've worked on it. Tap template habitat phantom. Let's open that up. Can I edit it? I can. I shouldn't be able to, but I can. I'm going to actually have to protect that page in a second. T Habitat Phantom. Okay, so where it says... Red no pick. Oh. Let me see. Uh, let me see if red has an option for background color built into it. It doesn't yet. Okay, so. I need to learn something. CSS background color inherit. Can I use inherit as an option for background color? Uh, background color, let's see here. I'm pretty sure that I can. Background color inherit. So I can use inherit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add background color inherit I'm just going to have that be color number two I'm not going to document that yet except in the edit summary so red one is no pick two is going to be ff zero 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 Got another one here I gotta replace. Now I should be able to refresh this. Oop. Oops. That's not quite right. Silly me. It shouldn't be FF zero 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 zero. It should be FF FF FF. Let me get the other one.
There we go. That's what I want to see. So now it'll show with white. Good. I can protect that template now. So I can no longer edit it with this account. It's now fully protected. Alrighty, so background color is always white on that, so you can see that there's no pick. It stands out a little bit more. Actually, is that the color I want to use? Or what is the color? FFs. Oh, it's not gonna mouse over with me holding the click down. Let me try something. Okay, so what I did is I took a screenshot of that section of it so that now I can grab my little tool here. So it is all FFs. Okay. I suppose I could use the one of the gray colors in here. But FF is fine. Alright. A cabal for one is done. So if we refresh this template um, category here, these two will disappear. We're down to 341 to do. So 10 minutes of nine. Is anybody else in chat? Do we only have three people here this morning? Say hello in chat if you are there. Shrink this down for a second. See if that gets a few more people in here. That didn't really work. Good morning, Artie Dragon. There. Let's back up. So let's do another one. Let's do a cry for help. 
Actually, no. Let's do viewer choice. Which quest page would you like me to update next? Viewer choice. Pick a quest. Any quest. And if it's on the list of ones that need to be updated, we will update it. Looks like we have some A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, L, M, P, R, S, and T quests. All of the other letter quests begins with have been done. So which quest would you guys like to see me update next? A favorite quest or a worst quest or a new invasion. Alrighty, let's do a new invasion. Right there on the list. Excellent. Let's add you to the giveaway while we're at it. O L A W D have mercy. New invasion. All right, let's open up the discussion page. Create a new section. Edit. Scroll down. All right, excellent choice. Okay, so we're going to do my normal to make it easier for me to read. Spacing out where the parameters start. We're going to add a line feed here. We're going to grab add pack come up there and put it down here. Space it out. Now we can delete all of this. We've got our objectives. Objective one. Objective two. Optional one. Optional percent one. Expect. Misc. Let's see here. What else do we have? There's a bug in this one. Oh, goody. Video walkthroughs. I love those. Video walkthroughs are considered external links. So we're going to add a thing for external. We're going to grab these. Scroll down a little bit here. We're going to move this down to just above monsters. Add spaces. Collectibles, there are none, apparently, because it's commented out. External. Excellent. We can actually be lazy about this. Cut this out. Put it up here. Just do part one, two, and three. And actually, I can be even more lazy about it. Part one. Part two, part three. Part one, two, three, there we go. Monster section. Chop that out. We're gonna do a show preview. Make sure that we have everything the way it's supposed to be. Nice and clean, optional, 60%. Wow, it's a huge bonus. Bonus XP's, excellent.
Spider Wolves YouTube video quest walkthrough. We're gonna shorten that a little bit. Spider Wolves. YouTube walkthrough. Save page. Paste all of the monsters in here. Show preview. It looks like some of these monsters haven't even been created yet. <clears throat> so let's go through. We're going to open them all. Lots of monsters in this one. So what do we got? A new invasion. Nice beholder. Red name. It's got a CR number. Excellent. That one's all set. Whirling Air Elemental. We'll skip that one since we don't have it yet. A new invasion. He's got a CR. Nothing's out of place with him. That one looks good. New invasion. CR. Looks good. Looks good. Missing Blasting Gale. Why was this one redirected? I don't know, but we'll edit it. For no other reason except the saying. Mm, saying down. Delete that. See saying good. That one needs to be added. New invasion, that one looks good. That one needs to be added. New invasion this one's got that one needs to be cleaned out for common enemy. We don't have common enemy there. If it's in the quest, it's a common enemy. That one right out. This one looks like it could use some work. We got some CR 12 on hard and 15 on normal. That one looks a little bit out of whack, but we'll we'll put the numbers in. That's what we have. New invasion. That one's good. New invasion. Third floor. That one's good. Ah, missing from Monster Manual Ooze. We have a CR here. Different than the CR there. We have common enemy we gotta clean out. Okay, so that one seems a little bit of work. That one looks like it's all set. That one needs to be added. invasion I don't see anything there we need to change for this quest that looks good fiendish fighter new invasion nothing to do there new invasion we've got that new invasion new invasion new invasion excellent so edit Drag this one back here. That one's a cleanup. One. Hey, thanks for the follow. Make sure to say hi in chat. Not sure why that one's there. It's got new invasion. Nothing for me to edit. Moving on. 
Right, we need to add new invasion there. We need to add new invasion there. We've got a couple there that we have to create. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Habitat 2 is a new invasion. Save page. Save page. Save page. Excellent. Let's add SSREBB. Great, we've got invasion, new invasion, new invasion. We've added those. Orthon, edit, gelatinous cube, edit. These are edits. Blasting Gale is the air elemental rare. So scroll down, scroll down. Copy that. I'm going to scroll down. I want description. Close our template. Not gelatinous cube. Not use. None of this stuff. I can copy this over here. Paste, okay. So we've got Whirling Air Elemental is an orange named Air Elemental. Air Elemental. I believe that's Type and the race is elemental. And then it's, I believe, air elementals are in the monster manual. Venan. There you go. Preview. Do I have it backwards? I probably have it backwards. Type is elemental, race is air elemental. Let's try that. There we go, that looks much better. Monster type, help improve. Blasting Gale was mentioned as yellow named air elemental rare. This one is a rare. It's also an air elemental. Excellent. Say so page, it's all the information I have on those right now. Uh, that needs just clean up. This needs clean up. Okay, so we got common enemy to clean out. We got CR, normal, 18, elite, 23, CR, CE, for now. It's missing from ooze, save page. Edit Orthon. Missing our CR. We're gonna go CR equals. We have a normal of 15 there, a hard of 12 there. That's what we got, that's what we're gonna go with.
Excellent. So we've completed all of those. We can delete this or close that page, close that, close that, close that, close that. We can now scroll down to our template here. Got all of this information, which fills up that much of the screen. We're going to refresh it, and it's actually going to fill up enough of the screen that external links should disappear from the bottom of the page. Because we have a couple new types that have been added. So let's add this up to here. Span. Oh, see that? Added some more types. Got some no picks in there, some CRs missing. Excellent. Looks really good to me. I like it. Oh yeah, I wanted to edit that too. I forgot all about that before I protected the page. Oh well. Alright, so, new invasion is done. Fully updated at this time. I do want to, um... Redo the named chest drops later. It's on my list of things to do, but I need to look into that project a little bit more. Anybody else have a quest that they would like to see done? Prove your worth. Uh, heroic or epic? Relic of a sovereign past. All right. Open up the discussion page. Create a new section. Edit, epic, absolutely. Open up epic, slide this over here so that it'll be in our queue. Feel free to list off a few more pages. We have 50 minutes left here of the stream and I'm planning on mostly doing just this during the duration. Um, of the stream today because it's such a huge project and there's so many pages left needing to be updated. I want to make sure that everybody has plenty of examples of how to update these to get rid of that big red banner at the top of all of the pages. Objective. Objective number one. Obtain the Sword of Tysus. I'm going to try something. I don't know if this will work or not, but we're going to find out. Two... Three, four, five. Come on. Six, seven, eight. Ah, so that doesn't work. Okay. That's fine. There's no reason for the extra indenting anyway. All right, so we've got optionals here. Oh. 
Yeah, well, we'll do it that way. That's fine. Good morning. I add you both to the drawing in just a minute. Let's see here. Code giveaway. We've got T O D D S H Y W and Ego Tech. Almost halfway there with 45 minutes to go. Those are the objectives and the optionals. Expect. Traps, misc, walk through. Map notes. Actually, gonna chop those out of there and put those down here. Grab our monster section. Chop that out of there. Take care of all of that. Looks good. that means let me paste this here and do my show preview what does and that one no or, or, and this one is no ornamental sword mean that makes no sense dump it okay we're going through doing some update <clears throat> it's to quest pages Looks good. Here's our new table for monsters. So many monsters in this quest that they don't all fit in one screen. Ooh. Let's go through all of the monsters and make sure that they're pretty clean. have all of the information. Good morning, Gummy Bears. We are going through updating quest pages to use the new template parameters that I created over the last week.
to the wiki. Okay. So, Relic of a Sovereign Past. We have got that. Relic of a Sovereign Past. Orange name, Relic. Orange name, Relic. Looks good. We got all of those. Means we can close this. Those are the only ones that I wasn't sure about. Give that page. Okay, Relic. Currently checking. Oop, that one's got a CR that I can add. That one's got some CR work to do. That one's got some CR work to do. Set. That one's done. Nothing to do there. Nothing to do there. Nothing to do there. Nothing to do there. Uh, made to order common can be cleaned out. CR work. Nothing to do there. CR work, CR work, CR and cleanup work. Um, nothing to do there. And CR work. Okay. So when I get to prove your worth, I will go over the full explanation again. For those that missed it at the beginning of the stream for now i'm just updating these monster pages okay so we got cr elite of 17 that can go up there clean that out It's no longer turbine. SSG's part. CR cleanup. Oh, we don't have a page for SSG, really. <sighs> Create a redirect from SSG to Standing Stone Games. We now have an SSG page. Excellent. Duragar. Let's see here. CR. None of these have CRs. Oh, just the first one up there. Okay, so after the lock gate, I have a pet peeve of templates having to have a capital first letter, so we're going to do that. Duragar area. In the four main rooms, nothing there, nothing there. SSGs. CRCE. Looks good. Save page. That offers us no information. No information. Normal of eight, we can go with that. Rest of that is no information. That can be a space instead of an underscore. Save. Good morning, Biff. Hey, we made it halfway our goal of 20 chatters this morning. It says there are 12 people in channel, so there should be a couple more that can say hi this morning. Common enemy, we can get rid of that. Save page. Nothing there to learn from. 
Information here belongs up here. It's good. Next one. This information can go up here. No longer a need for this. No need for that. A space there. Good morning, Andy Josh Hall. Okay, where was I? This one's done. 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 Three to go. CR can go up in CR. Clean that. Clean that. CR cleanup. Save. Excellent. We've got XP colors. We've got this one has hard. This one says elite is 15, so we can drag that up in there. And now that provides nothing new. Nothing new. That can be a space. Capital, normal, hard. No need to have the words there. It doesn't provide any information. Delete that. Common enemy can be deleted. CR can be deleted. Nothing new there. No more information there. CR on Elite Keeper Sanctuary. Okay. Okay, that. Adamantine Defender. Alright, so CR and cleanup. Nice and clean. Much better looking. We can now refresh our table now that we've done go we've completed going through all of the monsters. Now have a nice, clean table. Excellent. Looks like Dwarf Barbarian Shaman is listed here, but it wasn't listed before. If any of these are in error, feel free to remove them. To remove them, you just go to whatever the page is, click on Edit, and you remove the habitat. And then they'll no longer be listed. But within 24 hours, it'll automatically purge itself, or you can force purge the, um, the template. All right, so open up the talk page, create a new section. We're going to go to T quest real quick. Okay, so Sreb asked what we were doing over the last week or so. I made some updates to this template for quest pages. Um, this is a template that creates the, the formatting to show what the quest pages look like. Um, I added some parameters for all of the bonus types and I added some parameters for the objectives and the optionals to be able to embed them directly into the template instead of having to manually code all of that for everything for everyone. Not sure why that looks like that, but whatever. Um, you can see the new template um, parameters. So now what I need to do is because I changed the template, which
which is still backwards compatible at this time, so it won't completely break the pages. Oh, I also removed the monster parameter that used to be in there and added an external instead. So, now we need to, I, I went through every page and I told it to add this big template using a bot. Um, saying needs to have parameters updated. So all of the quest pages that haven't already been updated have this big warning at the top. Um, if it has that big red warning, it's listed in this category. So what needs to be done, and I have been slowly working on doing myself, although there's still 339 more quest pages to go through. So at two or three a day, it's kind of slow. Um, is to edit the page. Delete this template thing at the top. Personally, I like to space parameters out so that they can be picked out from the content. And I like deleting parameters that don't exist. I can add a loading pick for that. Um, delete that, delete that. Um, all at once. So no big deal. Just I'll go through and do them a couple, a couple a day until they're done. And everybody else is welcome to update them as well. It doesn't have to be just me which is kind of why I decided that this is what I wanted to work on today on stream so that people can see what needs to be done in order to update them. If they come across, if they go to look at their a quest page for something and they see that template, they can go, oh, I know how to do that. Get rid of that template and update it properly. Um, and they can go in and update them. All right, objectives. We've got one objective in this quest and one optional. That's the only objective. This is the only optional. And fortunately, somebody recently has been going through and adding percentage values for all of these. It's hard to find these when they're embedded inside of big blocks of text, which is why I like to indent them. And I like the equal signs to line up so that it's easy to see where things are. Only two monsters apparently in this quest. Update. Red name. Orange name, epic, epic. I wouldn't be surprised if that's 
named after producer Glenn. I don't know who that would be named after. Skill DCs would probably be up in Misk. Something on that, something in that sub page there is, is actually breaking things. So what I need to do is I need to go to Prove Your Worth Epic Skill DC page and edit that. Something on this page. Causes the page to break. I don't know why that's there, but it can go away. I see... Needs a little bit of updating for CSS conformity. Put these at the end, even though I don't like them being there at all. Ah, that's what it is. Okay, it's missing its... It's got a hat on it, but it doesn't have a bottom. Okay. Okay, so... Now, when I do a show preview. Excellent. It all work as intended. Apparently those are the only two monsters in this quest. We're done here. Pick another one, pick another one, another one, yay! Feel free to join me in Discord if you like. Um, if you wish to join me in Discord, to chat with me with voice, it's simply discord.me, DDO stream, and I am in the live stream chat channel. Feel free to pop in and say hi. Um, we also have a, um, for those interested, we also have a DDO Wiki Discord server. Absolutely. And I will actually even do this. That is the category of what needs to be updated for quests. Feel free to pop in there and start picking quests out and cleaning them up.
Some of them are really, really short and easy to do. Some of them are more complicated. Um, there are likely even some historical quests in here, which are a little bit different. I don't know off the top of my head of which ah, Euphoria's mission, for example, would be a historical one. Let's take a look at uh, at that one. You can see this is a history page. Let's go ahead and edit this one. Discussion, edit. Um, we've got history type quest. Delete that. It's already spaced out. Excellent. Objective one. Even though they're history quests, I still want to update them to use the new template template parameters. Looks like they're all objectives, no optionals here. There we go. Three spiders. XP bonus. So looks like these need to be um, updated to use a template. Mischief equals seven. Vandal Ransack. They can go anywhere at all inside of the code as long as it doesn't break up a section. Those go in there. Updated. Show preview. That goes away. These are all listed properly now. Bonus XP is listed. Apparently it was a solo only. Well, I'm glad we still have a map for this. No, ma no monsters defined. That's not a problem. Save page. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go category monsters underscore in before his mission. And for this, I'm actually not going to use the monsters in template. I am simply going to do three spiders for now and when we go back to for his mission And we refresh the page, you'll see that it says three spiders. Historical ones are a little bit more tricky because of the way that we have categorization set up. So if you find a historical one, just leave it if you don't know how to do it. Eh, oh, so. So, which quest would you guys like me to work on next? 
figure that out. We got 15 minutes. Probably got enough for one or two more quests. Post that in chat really quick. Alrighty. I believe I'm on Orion today. On Shudar. A new character I've been running that's a uh, iconic. Um, with a, another streaming group. Um, oh, I forget who they are. Um... An op bish. A N O P B I S H. What is DP? What is DP? DP. That's DP. DDO points. Formerly known as Turbine Points, or TP. Looks like this needs to be updated. <laughs> it's no longer Digital River either, it's, um, oh, who is it now? I forget. What is the um, max favor right now? Oh, currently no TP is available for 5,000 plus favor. I wonder if that was ever fixed. Should get 25 uh, DDO points for 5,100, 5,200, and 5,300. I think 5,300 is a cap, right? So that would be 1975. Was it fixed? I have it currently listed as a bug. Let's take a look on the forums. Let's log into the forums and take a look on the forums. I pull that up twice. There we go. Palace of Stone, no comment there.
Wasn't fixed last time you passed 5100. Looks like CS Alkalade was a, is aware of it. I don't know, why does the DDO forum look different to you? Okay, so it looks like the last post was July 23rd on that thread. Let me take a look at the other thread. It looks like 5400 is a, is a cap right now. Actually, probably even higher. So you can probably get over 2000 if it was working as, as, as intended. like Cordovan's aware of it as of then. Last time this ticket was 2016 in February. So this one is newer than that one. Let's um necro these threads. <laughs> Reply to thread. Reply to thread. Submit reply. Deck road. it is the show because it's something that the people want to know alrighty we'll find out anyways that's what it is Bargain of Blood. Excellent. 
open up the discussion page, edit. So I need to make a space for this, move add pack down. Now I can delete that stuff at the top, space, space. Objectives. Two, three. I like having these linked. Optional. Optional, optional. Got some external links here. We're going to replace the word links with that. Space, space, E for external. Grab the monsters, chop them out, put them on the talk page, show preview. I actually like having the external link at the bottom of the template. So I'm going to slide that down there. Good morning, MRF. Made it just in time for the end of the stream. Number 12 of 20. Looks like we're going to fall short this week for my last 500 DP code giveaway. <clears throat> Who knows? I might give away a starter pack next week. I have got, got a couple of those. If I decide to do a, a starter pack, it'll be a requirement of 25 people. Oh, so we got lever can be hit with a thrown weapon using targeting mode T. I want to actually make a change to that. I'm going to make that key press T. That's okay. As long as you make it before the end. Key press isn't working. Why isn't key press working? Is there a space in there? Press. Always do a show preview. Key press with a space and a lowercase p. There we go. Oh, T. Excellent. All humans are CR12, huh? Good to know. Any of these missing? 
just Blood Tide seems to be missing. Got a yellow there. Excellent. Bring up the table here. Scroll up here. We got Shaco, Nakar, Manager, General Manager, First Mate, Slave, Blood Tide, Stuffy, 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 Stuff. <laughs> Leave that page. Nothing there I need. Shackle is good, other than a comment, a saying. Actually, I think I will give away a starter pack next week, which will require 25 people in chat. But I'm going to um, advertise a little bit better on social media this week for that. So we should be okay there. Make sure that you get the word out as well. Um, if you're not already following the um, DDO Wiki Twitter, I suggest doing so. Twitter, DDO Wiki. Morning, MJ. M H D eighteen. We're actually a few minutes over here, but I want to complete this one before I shut the stream down. Blood Tide Archer. Um, Bargain of Blood is a Sentinel's Quest. I don't want that one. Bargain of Blood. Already got Bargain of Blood there. Excellent. Bargain of Blood. Bargain of Blood. Bargain of blood, bargain of blood, bargain of blood, bargain of blood, bargain of blood. A troll imprisoned in bargain of blood, uh, bargain of blood, yes, good, good. Missing from monster manual, interesting. First mate, bargain of blood, CR8, hmm, interesting. We're gonna blood. Looks good. Edit. Got some sayings here to edit. While he always spawn, while he always spawns in Bargain of Blood, after you defeat the general manager, he does not appear on your monster manual. Get him listed, you need to spawn him at the tide turns. So...
like he's the only missing cobalt. Apparently he's the only missing cobalt. Okay, non-chaotic. Apparently there's part of the quote missing there. Or it should be a period. Yellow shouldn't be a color, it should be a common. Unless it's a rare or a boss. I'll have to fix that in the template. That if it's yellow for color, it just shows normal. CE saying. Excellent. Oh, it's because he's named. I'll look into that. <clears throat> okay, so now we can refresh this. And there is our... wonderful table. Okay, so I think that's going to wrap it up for this week. Be sure to check out the category quest pages needing an update if you're able to edit and go ahead and work on some of those as you go through knowing how to do it now um thank you all for tuning in let's see here uh ddopl will be up at 3 p.m uh, at 7 p.m will be the stream stream we have samius on wednesday morning um there will be no weekly Wednesday lunchtime live stream this week, as far as I know, because Cordovan is out of the office. At 5 p.m. will be DDO as she has played with Gemini 166. At 7 p.m. on Wednesday will be RPG Overdrive with um, Jake. Um, on Thursday, we have Power of a Titan at 6 p.m. and Brighter Days Ahead at 8.30 p.m. with Dina Dawn. Um, I'm not sure if Titan will be on this week or not. Um, Friday's afternoon will be not happening this week on Friday. Friday's on ice with Baklagor will be on at 10 p.m. on Friday. Um, I'm not sure if this is a damsel's week or not. I don't believe it is. Um, but at 4 p.m. will be It's Good to Be the King. And at 6 p.m. will be Papa Gaio de TR. And Sunday nights will be streaming with Evening. Um, with Even. Next Monday, tune in at 4 p.m. for Minion Monday as the minions tackle legendary um, Codex in the Shroud, um, followed by Bard Life at 9.30. Also, this week, uh, be sure to tune into my personal channel if you're interested. Um, I will be doing a 32-hour live stream starting at 10 a.m. Eastern on Thursday. Um, make sure you pop in. I will be playing some Dungeons & Dragons. I will probably be doing some wiki editing. I'll probably be playing some Lord of the Rings Online, some Stardew Valley, Valley maybe some Dragon Sang. I don't know about that yet. By the end of 32 hours, I'll probably be reduced to playing Minesweeper, like I was for my 30-hour stream. Um, make sure you pop in and say hi. Um, have a great week, everybody. And I will see you later.